Hen. Hello everyone! Happy Easter from two gorgeous Easter lambs! Excuse me, uh, uh, Lawrence? It's uplifting, isn't it? When you see Easter lambs gambling about the meadow! A sign of hope and new life after the winter! Lawrence, Lawrence, just a minute! What is it? You interrupted my speech to these lovely people about Easter lambs! Well, that's just it! What? I'm not an Easter lamb. I was born in February. I'm a winter lamb. Well, uh... And so are you. You were born in February too. We're nothing to do with Easter. Well, everybody thinks we're to do with Easter. There's pictures of us on lots of Easter cards and cuddly lambs in shop windows. That doesn't mean we really are anything to do with it. But Easter is all about hope and new life, isn't it? And what's... What's lamb, what, that's what lambs symbolise. The first signs of new life after the winter. Yes, in February. Oh dear. Why oh dear? I I'm quite happy being a February lamb. Doesn't it mean that if Easter isn't about lambs, it's actually about chickens and eggs? Well, I think a lot of people think so. Exactly. Have you been to the shops lately? It's not cuddly lambs, then it's cuddly chickens in all the shops and chocolate eggs. Well, they're symbols of hope and new life as well. And of course, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a large, tasty chocolate egg. Good. I'm rather fond of them myself. What about you lot? Are you hoping for some eggs next week? Yes, chocolate eggs are great. But all those things don't have anything more to do with the real Easter than lambs. Oh. Why are you so gloomy about that? I just wanted to be part of Easter. You know, a part of all that hope and excitement. Oh, look. Here comes Mildred. Now, there's someone who's definitely nothing to do with Easter. Shh. She'll hear you. It's all right. I heard you. And it's true. You never see a donkey on an Easter egg, and there aren't any cuddly ones for sale in the shops. Nobody thinks a donkey is a sign of hope or anything to be excited about. I can't deny that. But Larissa says I'm nothing to do with Easter either. So neither of us can join in all the hope and excitement. But you're both wrong. You can be part of the hope and excitement because you can be part of the real Easter story. Everyone can. Hello, everyone. You are quite right there, Larissa. You can be really hopeful and excited when you know the real story behind Easter. And by the way, Mildred, donkeys have quite a lot to do with the real Easter story. Really? Really? Yes. Don't you know what day it was last week? Sunday. Any particular Sunday? The one before Easter. Don't you know what it's called? Mm, donkey Sunday. Oh. I hope all you people out there can remember from last week. It was Palm Sunday. The day when Jesus finally headed for Jerusalem and began his journey to the cross. And he rode into Jerusalem like a king. Oh, on a, on a great white charger. No, silly, on a donkey. A donkey? It was a sign of a king and a sign that he was coming to bring peace. But not the peace that the people thought he was bringing, but real peace with God. So there was a donkey in the first Easter story. But all of us can be part of God's story from now on. You know that, don't you? Anyway, let me get on with the service a bit more. I'm going to hand you back now. I'm going to hand you back to Paula. Say bye-bye, lambs. Bye. 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 Hopefully see you soon after Easter. Bye now. Have a lovely day. Bye. Bye.